But Brisky is much smarter than even you. Taking you for a ride and you are enjoying it. You are enjoying hurting yourself. From now henceforth, do not talk about wanting a, a sane society. You've lost the right and the license to do that. So just be quiet. Be quiet. You cannot join in wanting in the claims that we want a good society. You can't be part of the people who are saying that because you need to stop speaking from two sides of your mouth. That money is something that will be used to empower a lot of people. About William and Bobrisky and on Jazzy. I find it ridiculous that people will say that VDM is a sellout for accepting that money from the, from Dom, from Dom Jazzy. VDM is running an NGO where he wants to help the rest privileged. He wants to help with employment for a lot of unemployed people and also to help with school children who can afford education. So Don Jazzy sends him a hundred million and people are thinking that VDM is a sellout for that because he had previously called out Don Jazzy when he gave money to Bob Risky. For goodness sake. Why shouldn't he call him out for giving him money? What is Bob Risky to the society? I'll get to that later. Encouraging Bob Risky in any form is bad for the society. And this is not about his orientation. No, that's not what I'm talking about. That's a completely different issue because that also has its own problems. I'm not speaking about that now, but I'm speaking about conscious empowerment. Even his orientation is a problem in itself. In so many ways that people are not looking, not in the way that we're just looking at it on the surface. I am always talking about conscious empowerment and the things that are derailing us. And morals is one of it, yes, but on this Bobrisky issue, let's just even put morals aside because people are going to be thinking um, it's about religion, it's about this, it's about... let's we'll put that aside. On the day we're going to have that conversation, we'll talk about it. I cannot even believe that I am talking about Bobrisky. Honestly, because that is how despicable that I have found that character to be. And it is not about self-righteousness. You know, listen, there are so many things that people are not paying attention to. Let me talk about the money from Don Jazzy first. If Vidion were to refuse that money, do you know that that money was not money for his private use? Not, not for his private pockets. That money is something that will be used to empower a lot of people money that could be used in a society like that to help people so many people so many lives will be changed their lives will be bettered and that opportunity will be lost if vdm were to because of pride refuse that money from don jazzy i know that people are suspicious it just doesn't make sense i understand that it's because people are always going to use their own standards and, and values and priorities to judge other people. They just cannot imagine that someone can be selfless and be altruistic. Uh, they, look, there are people like that. Everyone is not the same. Remember that there are people who have walked certain paths in life and that influences the decisions that they take. So everyone is not good approaching life from the same angle that the next person is. These are the things that affect us, right? Some people feel the pains of others and they are going to do something about it. And you can maintain your suspicion. It makes no difference. This is what VDM is doing. This is what he's always been doing. I even came across a video of his last week that I'd never seen before. Because I haven't been following him for too long. I came across this video that he, that he apparently made at the beginning of when he started these things. And someone had stolen that video. because, And the person had, had, um, the person had reported him. So that he couldn't use his own video. It was someone else who called him and told him, look, they're using your video for content. So that's to answer those people who think that he's doing this because he's making money from using it as content. But that's an aside. That's not what we're talking about today. So it, it makes no sense if he refuses the 100 million because a lot of people will be angry with him. I'd be angry with him because it'll be like, this is a personal and selfish decision. Do you understand that? If you don't understand it, then it's a pity that that's the way that your brain is skewed to work. And that means that you probably have some other issues to deal with. If even after listening to this now, you don't see it, then you have issues, my friend. Sorry. So you need to go and figure out what's going on with you. Get yourself evaluated. Now, so far, do you know what's happened? Yesterday, Monday the 21st, when Bobiski was supposed to appear, um, and to respond to, to a call, 
where he and VDM were supposed to go and explain what has happened so far. Bobrisky did not show up. Bobrisky was found to be, it looks like, what looks like apparently, well, what looks like trying to escape from the country. And this is for them to go and talk about him not being in prison and the bribery allegations um, and the charges that were dropped. But VDM says that the guy took off. I'll play that video for you. All right, so Bob Risky was arrested this morning at Semi Border Post on his way to escape to Benin Republic. He sent someone to help him sign his international passport and aid in the car. The Nigerian Immigration Service is currently holding Bob Risky. You know, say, uh, as you all know, our House of Rep mattered on the come up. And the uh, next thing, according to the report, say Baba won Japa the whole land. You know, understand? So all those mouths when they make it to confirm whether or not true or not lie, make Bob Risky go on live now. Or make him make video posts, just the way make video posts, they make noise. You understand? When I say you're going to learn, you're going to learn. If the prison is involved in this, if the ASCC are involved in it, and the names he mentioned in that video, like I said, we don't give them respect enough. But if person they inside corruption, you understand? If person get they party to corruption, we could drop respect because we too they look for for Nigeria and the betterment of the country. And we know if they look for the betterment of the country, most of what they don't with respect. This generation is going to take Nigeria without respect because we don't to respect the old peoples. And they know they do well. Now make Nigeria be like this. So the Godfather. We actually call prison according to the voice note. You will present yourself at the end of the day. Nobody is going anywhere. You understand? So, Nigerian uh, immigration, they say deal with you now. Hmm? I know so myself, Mona better do quick post the news before Godfather will call you now. And all those church of Chori but risky the talk. I won't know your connection. Mind you, mind you, mind you. This thing, it might look like it's a winch on for me and Bob. No, you understand? My problem is this. If the people that have been sentenced to go to prison don't go to prisons, it is a problem in Nigeria. If EFCC will be collecting money to drop charges, it is a very big problem in Nigeria. The first time, the House of Rep invited all of us, it didn't show up. Now, another advice, don't need you don't they try to leave the country. You understand? A few days ago, some people say they give him 12 hours to apologize. You know, apologize, nothing happened. Later, I come back, it's not me, it's very that one. I won't see with you and I won't do. They say when I get connection from Nigeria. Hmm? They say when I be the law. Once they say when I won't do for Nigeria. Nigeria is not for anybody. Nigeria is for all of us. You understand? Whether you be the law, whether or you get your country, if you cast, you cast. The best thing to do is to clear yourself of this mess. So I will expect the FCC to clear yourself. I will expect the Nigerian Prison Correctional Center to clear yourself. And whoever name that is being mentioned in the video would not respect on enough. Peace and love. We will continue to do work. We will go better Nigeria. Thank you very much. Don't play. Let us see your God and like I said, you all will learn the other. <laughs> Don't play. So when we wait for publicity, we'll confirm whether the truth. The news that through on our force. So, but basically, I'll be expecting your post. Peace and love. Uh, immigration, we are waiting for you. Peace. William had earlier put a video where he was watching Bob Risky posting online, making videos. And William was like, okay, so you're doing all this now. Let's look forward to Monday the 21st and see if you're going to claim again that you're sick because now you're busy making videos. On the 21st, we're expecting that you're going to show up and not try claiming again that you're sick like the last time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't want anybody's money! I don't want anybody's money! I, I'm yet to say the truth! Did I ask you for money? Did I beg you for money? <laughs> See, my brother, <laughs> my sister, there are some people you should not drag on Instagram. Don't drag your helper. Hmm? See, if it is a Chris, that's some people you should not drag. 
<laughs> so don't drag them because they're your helper. It won't be like this, eh? I don't drag. I look face. I look at people I drag. I don't just drag anybody. I cannot go and drag my helper. It, it's not possible. <laughs> I won't take my Brazilian hair. I won't take. I won't take this slay. <laughs> I beg. Don't drag your helper. Be All friend. right. Uh... So if you notice, yesterday I no post anything apart from Don Jazzy. No me say I no say all those things. Yesterday na Don Jazzy day. So now make I can start with the respond to all of now. You understand? So first is first. In response to this video where Bob Risky do everybody for Nigeria. Now don't see say Bob Risky do okay. Thank God saying the church or church or church. Now don't see saying do okay. On the twenty first of October, which is on Monday, we have all been invited again to go back to the House of Rep to continue investigation. So now, you know, Conto say, eh, your menstrual pain starts as you sleep by mistake. Your original bola can enter inside your nyash. It can't clip there, so they go do you surgery. We don't want to hear all those ones. You must present yourself on Monday. Do you understand? You must present yourself. Now we know you are okay. Let me say, you fell ill down where when I talk the other day. Hey, you are okay now. So on Monday now, now we can't know what really happened. Because everybody, they say this case don't die down. Eh, you never go down. I start I they push harder. Say man, make me make, make the G make sure say we get the date. And finally we don't get this day. So on Monday, everybody should expect one or two things in the house of reps committee. Also, me, I really want to know what happened. Like I said before, see all the points when I want me. If for ESCC first, if you are rest person, you collect their exhibits, you collect their phones, laptop, and every other thing. The fact that Bob Risky using personal phone enter Sala prison make waiting data audio look like truth. For him to use his personal phone enter Sala prison, they make all those calls. He didn't call one person, he didn't call two persons, he was chatting. Do you understand? And sending account number for them to send him money while he's in prison, it means he will not get with you, will not do that day. That is phone alone. Number two, for prison, I don't care how I want to deny these allegations. When I already talk her that day, say when I don't put her for male facility, when I don't put her for female facility. Meanwhile, on you people's page, on your official page, you people put it there. I don't screenshot and keep. You people put it there that you people put Bob Risky in a male facility. That is there's corruption in prison. How many other persons, how many big top criminals have you people given apartments outside the prison where they will still be there committing crimes? No wonder kidnappers do they finish. No wonder. Now I'm beginning to suspect that that time when they come bust prison, now when I join them, break the prison so that prisoners will escape. Mona thought they don't, it did make me believe now. In my own opinion, now I believe, say, bless, say they're giving our money self to break that prison by ourselves. Yes, now if people can give people lodge outside, then if people can organize something like that. So the corruption in the prison facility and EFCC must come out. EFCC, secondly, I told you before, I said, that account when they call them money so inside prison, that account must be investigated. We want to know the money that came in during when he's in prison and the money that went out. So if the money that went out is big, it means it through through and collect 15 million. So all those English on the blue that day, I don't even said to my papa. Do you understand? So all those distractions will become lawsuit or no lawsuit, file this one, no file this one. Everybody wanna get out. No, I can't tell us what's happened. I wanna wanna concern me. I don't send anybody papa I did like this. You understand? What happened that day? You people must say it. You people must what? You people must say it. So I'll see you on Monday. I am glad but risky that you are very okay. So what does that look like? Have you heard VDM talking about Yahoo Boys? The Yahoo boy called VDM that he wants to send him 50 million so that he can clean it through his NGO. This is his new NGO. Listen to what VDM had to say about that. It was really funny. Right. Um, I see this post for Insta blog where there's a breaking news. Dr. Shags deliver on his promise, send an undisclosed amount after pledging 50 million naira to VDM and expresses readiness to support Javi's surgery, blah, blah, blah. Uh, first of all, I checked the account. And as I speak to you now, the current money in the account is 215,386,000 Naira. As you can see, the last money sent is 100 Naira. Look at the time, 12.26. Right. So I even called the bank, uh, the account manager and I asked him, I said, which money do I enter? We checked thoroughly. There was nothing sent. So bros, if you want to do publicity for yourself, 
no use my NGO till they plea like that. I don't like it. And also, uh, one Yahoo boy called me. He said he won't use my account to take clear. He won't use the NGO account to take clear money. He said I'll send big money inside. You understand? He said I'll send big money inside. I don't even know how to get my number. He said I'll send big money inside the account. Then I will give him a share. I don't need to advertise him. So this is to all Yahoo boys. I am into that business now. So if you send money to the account, you understand. Make I give you your own share. First send the money first. I will tell you thank you. By the time I use your money to be primary two, you are good clear. I will use your money to build five primary two for different states. Then you, if your money big, we will do primary six. We will add computer inside primary six. Bless one another, get respect again. You won't use me till they do fraud. You won't use me till they do fraud. You better rest too. While in the other hand, my own beside, and, and this is an advice to all the Yahoo boys. The way Nigeria till they be now, and don't they see reason why I know we even fall to now for doing fraud. Do you understand? Because even the agencies that are supposed to check me to people are even the bigger hypocrites. So why I won't start to support them against you now? My only advice to you guys is simple, right? If you do fraud, you make money, create employment. It's simple. A lot of countries are built with fraud money. Plenty. Do you understand? So when you thief, maybe you go clear one million dollar, you go clear five hundred thousand dollars, create employment for like six or five thousand people. Even if government can't catch you, they no go log business. Would they want to put five thousand people out of work because of say one person do fraud where complainants no day? And I know now. That's my advice. Yes. Unsolicited. I'll be waiting with the English. Unsolicited advice. Yes. So if you want to do fraud now, make sure say you not do fraud with the point of say okay you won't go scandal and they pack bad girls you understand think about the development of your country as you do the fraud yes now don't be like an osh puppy where they use until they oppress your friends they use until no we don't pass that level like i said a lot of these other countries they use fraud money to build them so don't be like them you go and buy gucci buy prada you send the money back to where you still are patronize your own fellow there are a lot of fashion designers in nigeria now where they are brands you understand? Boost, boost the economy of the country. Anything where you want to do, use Nigeria and stage one. If you want to buy clothes, use Nigeria. You want where they make for Nigeria. If you want to buy moto, Mona go tell you no sin. May you no sin design the kind of moto where one wants. Based on say they say nine, they do cars. Do you understand? But prioritize patronizing Nigerian made things. It go grow our country. Because at the end of the day, very dark man will not stop people from doing fraud. You people, the frustration of the country alone. You understand if they say me self i know they use uh, one or two this thing i suppose don't start to they do fraud now mm -hmm. so the thing is that and also last thing if you want to do fraud i beg leave your black people alone leave your nigerians alone carry will you both follow put us on this problem uh, carry your fraud go that side then if they catch you now you savvy but if they don't catch you invest wisely with your fraud money that being said, I am not supporting anybody to do fraud. Before they say very dark man, they hate fraud. They tell you to go do fraud. No. But because I cannot stop you, I will only tell you that when you carry it, don't squander it on nonsense. Yes. Peace and love. Don't play. Yes, you go and learn and you will learn the hard way. So this is exactly what I'm talking about when we're talking about Bobiski. When I say that people, we need to think deeper about things. That is why we're where we are. We, we don't have enough thinking we don't have enough of us thinking and we deal with things on a surface value when we see things these things have many layers and if we don't look deeply if we don't look properly we are bound to miss what we're supposed to be tackling and be dealing with something on the surface which again reminds us that perception is not necessarily reality i don't know how many times i can say that understand the roots of our problems and to understand, we need to look deeper. When people say, when some people say that Bobiski is not a big problem and, and why are people complaining about Bobiski? Bobiski is not a problem of the country. The thing is, they're just limited in their understanding. That is my, that is what I know because it's really easy to see. To me, it should be easy to see that a person, okay, I understand you're not looking deeper. All right. But the thing is, is a person who is behaving like Bobiski and what he stands for this is someone who can very easily be used for money laundering and in fact this is one of the things that he was charged with can you add the dots 
Can you not see what is happening? And if you're not worried about that, then you lose any license to ever, to ever talk about the country and cleaning the country and stopping the ills of society. Because you keep on shouting that you want a better society, you want a better society, you want the society cleaned up. But you're speaking from two sides of your mouth. You want the society cleaned up, but you're happy with someone like Bob Risky, someone who behaves like Bob Risky, who all he does is flaunt money that we don't even know the source. We don't even know the source of the income. Do you know what that does? That encourages young people to, it, it encourages materialism. It encourages people that they can just get money from whatever source at all costs. Nobody cares because no one is looking at how that money is sourced. No one is looking at the, the um, no one is looking at the source or the roots of that money that is coming in. Someone like Bobisky just has money that is flaunting all over social media and all of a sudden he's the celebrity. People are loving him. There is no viable source of income and people are worshipping him. Other people want to be worshipped as well. Do you understand? Do you think that is why people do all the different things that they see? People, this, this person did this and all of a sudden they are an overnight sensation. Everybody's loving them. And what does Bob Whiskey do? He does two things. He's a cross-dresser and he's a money flaunter. And he, he, he treats money like a god. And then because of that, he's flashy and extravagant. And he's got a, lot, a large following just based on that alone. But where is the money coming from? We don't know. Do you know what that means? So people are ready to do anything to get the money because nobody's going to question it. Overnight, I just become a celebrity. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm able to do endorsements. I'm able to do ads. And I'm able to now start making money from that where I have. And, and I also have the opportunity and ability to keep on flaunting money that no one knows where it's coming from. I can easily be a money launderer. That is all. No one knows where my money is coming from. I can sell human parts or whatever. Get the money. I follow Bobisky style and I'm a celebrant overnight. It makes no sense for someone who claims that they want a sanctified society. And do you even realize that another thing that it tells you very clearly is a person like that with that kind of approach can very easily be used for anything because they have no morals. They show no scruples. Flaunting money, flaunting money. Do you know how indecent that is? I've just explained it to you. It encourages a society where the source does not matter. This cannot happen in any sane society or societies that even pretend to be sane. This cannot happen. Nobody's going to allow you to be flaunting money like that and endangering the society because what you're telling is that you're sending a signal. You're sending a message that anybody can now have money, show no source of income, and we're not going to do anything about it. So that everybody is, it's a free for all now. Everybody just do whatever you, you, you want to do. Show that you have money. Nobody's going to question you. We can't have a society that makes sense like that. And yet you don't want the chaos in society. And yet you don't want the crime in the society. You are funny. You don't question his source of income. And you don't think that he's a problem. You are funny. If you're not worried about money laundering, something is obviously wrong with you. You are obviously part of the ills of society because you don't know. Do you know where money that is laundered comes from? And do you know why you need to launder the money? You need to launder the money because it comes from crime. Did it never occur to you? What is wrong with brains? Don't tell me it never occurred to you. Now, the young ones may not know that. It may not occur to them. But you, as a full-grown adult, as a full-grown adult, you come out and you say, why are you complaining about Bobisky? Bobisky has done nothing to the society. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. And it tells us that the moral fabric of the society is completely decayed and rotten for you to be in support of something that further deteriorates the society. You are sick. You are sick. You are so sick that at the same time that you're claiming that you don't want the society to be rotten, you are supporting something that is rottening the society. So if you don't feel that crime money cleaning is a problem, then you are a big problem in the society. So no matter how we look at it, you are a problem in the society because 
you don't recognize what is going on here but you're an adult and you no one should need to tell you and if you do recognize what is going on and you don't think that it's a problem what can we say to you there is no redemption for you so anyone who is not in support of investigating what Bobiski has been doing you are either missing something in your medulla oblongata or you're a criminal or maybe you're a money launderer or you're just plain foolish and i'm sorry but you need to go for an evaluation if you're not able to connect now even after this explanation that i've made now if you're not able to connect it if it doesn't make sense to you and you cannot see connect the dots that this is very easy for money laundering and this is bad for the society you need a proper evaluation i am so sorry so just from now henceforth do not talk about wanting a a sane society you've lost the right and the license to do that so just be quiet be quiet you cannot join in wanting in the claims that we want a good society you can't be part of the people who are saying that because you need to stop speaking from two sides of your mouth but Brisky is much smarter than even you taking you for a ride and you are enjoying it you are enjoying hurting yourself i'm done this rant